What's up guys, it's your boys coming at you again with another Madden tip and I'm going to announce the winners from yesterday. So we had two matchups, we had Falcons versus Seahawks and we had Patriots versus Texans. I had you guys predict the results and the two closest results for, sorry, the closest result for the Falcons game was Aaron Strong. Congratulations man, you had the closest prediction of yesterday's matchups. You only missed by one point. It was 36-20, not 36-21. And then for the New England game, congratulations to Ryan Ford. He said New England 34, Houston 14, so he was off by two points. He also said the Patriots win the Super Bowl, so he gets extra points for that because he's fucking badass. <laughs> but anyways, uh, both of you guys, just leave a comment in this video so I can reach out to you guys and give you guys your free ebook. So... Also, if you want to predict the two matchups today, which are Green Bay and Dallas and Pittsburgh and Kansas City, go to the video before this one, after you're done watching this, and go ahead and drop your predictions. So, let's get into the video. I was actually hooked up from my good friend, CY Miner. He's trying to break into the Madden scene. He gave me this tip. Works really, really well. Gave me some different variations on it. Go check out his channel and support him. He's he's putting in the grind, guys. He's putting in the grind. He's putting out some good content. So go support him. So anyways, here's the play. Pistol Y trips. And the play is P.A. Reed. We're running against random. So there's a couple good things about this uh, formation. First of all, you have a trips. And then you have an isolation on the left. So you can easily take advantage of that with certain routes I have different setups from him I've tweaked them a little bit but I like to do a certain thing against press coverage even if it's zone or man doesn't matter and then a certain thing versus off coverage so I'll show you the press because they're pressing put X on a drag put RB on a slant and hopefully the isolation is gonna take the drag we'll see what happens we get the slant open one thing I forgot to mention is when you snap the ball, leave the play action on. That's very important. And cancel it right here. So there we go. We got him taken away. I'm surprised the linebacker came down on the speed dig like that. Usually he's going to be the one who gets open. We'll try that again. There we go. That's what we're looking for. The drag gets taken away. And also RB the slant gets cross manned automatically this is off coverage so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put X on a smart routed out route you also got the angled post route from your tight end off coverage put him on the smart route out route and here's where the magic happens so well, no, the other setup's good too, but this is good because this guy right here is in a curl to flat, I believe, or some kind of flat, and he has to play the play action. So as you can see, play action's going. He has to stay honest to the run, and he does not have time to get out there and defend the out route. This guy's responsibility is to drop deeper. Make sure you have a good route runner right there. So we have off coverage again. Go ahead, cancel right here. User coverage is not going to be out there. That's why I like that throw. They're pressing. You know what to do. Drag. Slant. Get open with your speed. Dig. If they're using the middle of the field, sure, they can take the speed dig away. Actually, it's kind of hard to use because of the speed boost. But usually what that's going to mean is the slant or the angled post route from the tight end is going to get open. Against the CPU, as you can see, the speed dig is going to get open. Off coverage. Leave everything as is. I mean, you could change it up too if you want. You know, put RB on a drag. But the curl to flat just can't get out there because he has to stay honest to the run. That's what makes the play happen. So that's pretty much the play, guys. I mean, you have two setups. Uh, you can be creative with it. 
really what you're doing with the drag is just trying to clear out that side and get people manned up and then get something open in the middle of the field against the press coverage. So, oh, man, I didn't even see him coming. But that's the play, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please drop a like if you did because it really helps my channel grow. Make sure you go to the video before this one. Make your predictions for today's matchups for a chance to win an ebook. And as always, if you enjoy Daily Matter Tips, 